I don't know. Clap again. If you're happy and you know it. I don't feel dim at all. I don't feel dim at all. I feel I feel I feel like I'm cooking in white light. And now you're crooked again. I I give up. We're sorry that he's crooked. Like a politician. No, we're not no, going we're there. We're not going there. No, we're not talking about politics on this program. I wanted to, but she trumped me. Ooh, burn. No. No. Sipping. You good? You ready? Hi, and welcome back to another edition of <gasps> Recipes That Crack. Wait, I'm just cooking Chris's dishes. <laughs> cooking Chris. Uh, cooking. Got I got all excited. I got excited. I want to show him the shirt. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. That's me, and we are cooking dishes from. Recipes that crock.com. That is my wife's cooking blog. Do you like the t-shirt? Do you like it? Tell me, tell me. How do you crock the pots? <laughs> That's right. I love these t-shirts. They're very comfortable. No, we're not selling any currently. I'm trying to get my wife to market these t-shirts because they're really cool and they say cool things on the front and she has a cool logo on the back. I tell you what, in the comments down below, if you would buy a t-shirt from her, leave us a comment. If you really, really want a t-shirt, subscribe. To if you really, 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 really want a t-shirt. I don't think you're allowed to do any of that on YouTube, first of all. I didn't say I was going to. I just want if they want one. Well, and we are not selling. We do not have a stock of these t-shirts. You're just making stuff up right now. Yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we get a big enough following of people that want a t-shirt, maybe my wife will maybe order some <laughs> and send them out to her friends. I think we need to go on with the cooking and, I think and, we st shall. and stop talking about the t-shirt. Let's go on and talk about today's recipe. This will be a very, very quick video. I'm doing this as a quick video for two reasons. One, there's not much to this one. And two, the last video I put up on the lima beans was a little long. So we're going to make this quick. Summers are coming, Little League starting, all kinds of outdoor activities, parties, festivals, fiestas, I don't know, whatever y'all do. But uh, you're going to want some quick meals. You're going to want something easy to put together for all the kids, all the friends, all the family, whatever you're bringing over. And this one is going to be it. Y'all like hot dogs? I love hot dogs. And today we're going to be duck ducking. Today we're going to be ducking. <laughs> ducking. It's a new word that I have started today. It's a mix of doing and cooking. Today we're going to be ducking hot dogs in a crock pot. We're going to be cooking hot dogs in a crock pot. In fact, we're going to be cooking 20 at a time. Now this comes from an idea submitted by a lady by the name of Erin Brock from Charleston, West Virginia. And she sent it for a submission in this little crock, or crock pot cookbook right here called Busy Day Slow Cooking from Gooseberry Patch. And she, Miss Erin, is doing this 60 at a time. But we're going to do something a little different because this little video that we're putting together is part of a two-part series of videos that we're going to be doing. So what you're going to see is what I can do in this little big crock pot right here in Big Bertha is what we call this one. She is a... She's our party animal. She's our party crock pot. <laughs> She's our little party animal. That's right. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a, a buffet style crock pot where you've got three little bitty individual crock pots. And we're going to be just using this one right here. Actually, this one's not a secret. This is the finished product, which is not going to tell you what's in this one. Why can't I tell them what's in this one? You can tell them what's coming up. You know what's coming up? We're not going to show coming up? I'm not going to tell you until the next video. You'll have to wait and see. But it's really simple, and it goes just like this. As you notice, not many ingredients here. In fact, the only ingredients you need are 20 hot dogs. Or up just to 60. Like or up to 60, depending on what kind of a crock pot you're using. Bertha, I don't think she can handle 60 in this little thing. You know how I know? Because there's 20 in this one, and she's about 30. She could probably handle 30. But we're going to go with 20 hot dogs. And 
this is a very complicated way of doing this. You ready? I just took 20 hot dogs. There you go. You're done. <laughs> you just, just love. It's got hot dog juice everywhere. Go wash your hands. I'll be right back. <laughs> my trash can there's one on the other side your lighting unit oh no oh my goodness he actually made it <laughs> i think that, that might have been a three-pointer so anyway <laughs> is that a three-pointer all right so that's it you take 20 hot dogs and you toss them in little bertha i didn't have to arrange them anyway you could put them up if you want to lay them on their side it doesn't matter how you arrange them they're just going to get hot and then uh, Erin says that she puts hers on for a low setting for four hours or a high setting for two. They're hot dogs, and they're going to go in something that's going to steam them because they're going to get really hot and steamy. All the liquid is going to, all the moisture is going to stay inside the pot. So you're going to have to help me because I can't see. Where am I at on the? You're settings? at low right now. How about now? High. High. How high. are you? <laughs> so high for two hours, low for four. Whatever y'all want to do. And like I said, we've already got them done on the other side so I'm going to take me a hot dog bun and I am going to dress it up however I want to. Now like I said stay tuned for a later video because in the middle crock of our uh, three-part crock our big Bertha we have well I'm still not going to tell you but we have something really really good that goes great with hot dogs. Now I'm the kind of guy who just likes mustard on their hot dog. If I'm just having a hot dog now, I'm sure I'm gonna like what's in here on my hot dogs. Oh, well, what's in there? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but I just like a lot of oh mustard my. on my hot dog. A lot of mustard. I'm very much a mustard fan. And these have been in here now for what, probably about three hours. So they've been now. in for a while, so we shifted it to warm. Yeah, we shifted it to warm because after a while the moisture will escape and they'll dry out and you don't want dry wieners. So cover that back up and it's simple just like that hot dogs in a pot done in two hours that's lunch for 20 or 10 or, or 40 or 60. five if you're bringing me over uh -huh. but uh hot dogs this recipe is really quick and it's a wiener <laughs> <laughs> i've been waiting all day to say that oh. okay so like i said stay tuned for the second part of this little series of videos we're doing with hot dogs and we'll tell you what's in the middle pot. Do you guys want to know what's in the middle pot? You're mean. You want, you want me to tell them? It's a topping for your hot dogs. I'll show you all later in the next video. We want to thank you again for watching another video from Cooking Chris's Dishes that's been me, the good old boy, showing you how easy it is to cook some your stuff food. <laughs> as I'm chewing my food. <laughs> it was a really good hot dog. But uh, we really appreciate you guys watching these videos. And if you haven't yet, go to the bottom of this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash MikeyGood. Also, you can give us a like over Recipes That Crock on Facebook, and also my personal uh, Facebook page, Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, where we do these recipes, as well as some cover tunes and original stuff and other things that are fun with the family. We want to thank you guys again for watching. Bye. Mm-hmm.